going to just fork up some of these pork pieces. This is gorgeous. Shut the front door. Oh no, nothing will ever be the same. Boom, welcome to Jamaica. We are here in the Caribbean, our only second channel video in the Caribbean. Today I'm here with Matt. Matt has been an incredible ambassador to Jamaica. He set up a lot of the locations. He was my guide and on camera for a lot of the videos and he was always behind the scenes helping us with everything. Today, I'm hanging out with him a bit more casually. We don't have all the cameras and all the lights. It's a phone, it's a couple of mics and a couple of dudes just enjoying some delicious Jamaican food. We tried a lot of Jamaican food, but there's so much more here, so much that we couldn't fit into just the five videos we did on the main channel. Let's go. It's this way, actually. Oh, this is our first location, and here's Matt. Sorry, what, man? What's happening? Welcome, bro. Wow, what an authentic and natural introduction and greeting. You already have a microphone on. I know. So convenient. <laughs> Take a look at this sign. Yeah. Adult novelties? What's that mean? Adult store. It's an adult store? Yeah. What can you get here? Um, all sorts of adult novelties. <laughs> our main food focus here? We're going to have some pond pork. So it's put into a brine, a Cornish brine. It's been salted so it can last longer and so that it can travel. Are we gonna head in the kitchen and see yeah, how they make it? Head in the kitchen and see how the chef prepares it for us. All right, I am following Matt into the kitchen of our first location. I like the aesthetic of this place. This is how you know it's good. Like yeah, random plywood, sheet metal that they got from a hurricane. All of it kind of stapled together to make <laughs> a beautiful shack to cook food in. The step foot inside. Sonny, Hello, this sir. is Woolery, our junior. Nice to meet you. Sonic, take a look at this. So it's actually the fat part and, I, and the lean part of it so that you get the crispy and the flavor in the fat and also the juiciness of that lean and we fry it up crisp. So he's already flavoring the oil. So this is something I haven't seen in a lot of different countries. I mainly have seen it here. I didn't even realize this is something you could do is flavoring the oil before you actually cook something in it. Yeah, he's got thyme in there and then scotch bonnet and garlic. Yep, here it goes. And you can hear it start to crack already. Oh yes, that smells so good. This is dangerous. I like this guy, very brave, no safety goggles, no face shield, just going for it. Bare hands, throwing the pork in, and it is getting real crispy. Brown stew chicken. Oh, that looks delicious. Are we eating that? Uh, now we are. <laughs> now we are? <laughs> now we are. <laughs> we have dumplings, yams, sweet potato, this um, green boiled bananas. Oh my, this kitchen smells incredible. All right, it's getting pretty intense in the kitchen. The pork is heating up. As he moves it around, it's literally popping out of there. Okay, I'm gonna add a natto. Give it a color. There's a place in Jamaica called Anata Bay where this used to be exported a lot because it comes from our heritage with the Maroons where the Anata plant was used. So they would put it to make the faces get red when going into battle. Putting on some ginger and some all-purpose. Everything is all natural. So there's no salt in the season. No salt in the season. Yeah. And finally, some pimento powder. Ooh, scotch bonnet. And then lots of garlic. Chopped onions. How do you stop yourself from just scooping this into your mouth? <laughs> I have to have self-control. Yeah. <laughs> I will try that out sometime. Not today. <laughs> Next, tomato. Gonna put on some sweet pepper. Now we're really getting the Christmas colors going. Then thyme. Cinnamon leaves. Then bay leaves. Bay we have our first meal of the day right here. Four carbohydrates. Yeah, man. Is that normal? Food. We need food for the soul. Food. <laughs> it is called food here. Which of these carbohydrates is your favorite? The dumpling. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's hit that first. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like the one with the white flour a lot more. Because mm -hmm. when we were at the uh, Rasta Village, theirs was made with wheat and it just yeah. had a really strong weedy taste to it. It was too healthy for me. You're not eating a dumpling for the health factor. No, we're eating a dumpling for the full factor. I'm gonna try not all these, but I wanna try the sweet potato. Mm. Oh, it's so naturally sweet, starchy, I love it. I'm gonna just fork up some of these pork pieces. This is gorgeous. Oh. Shut the front door. Game changer. <laughs> oh no, nothing will ever be the same. Oh, it's so good. One of Jamaica's favorite food. It's super savory. It's almost aromatic with all the different spices he put in there. You can taste it in your mouth, on your tongue, but also in your nose. I mean, seasoned from the oil comes straight up to the top when he puts on the tomatoes and the green peppers. Got some tomato, the sweet peppers. Certainly more mild in flavor. Total contrast. And a little bit of acidity, but you need that contrast when you're eating that rich pork. Oh. Oh, so good. So sweet. Oh, the human behind the camera is also not eating today. How are you doing? Are you okay? They, 
How are you doing over there? They them just said no. <laughs> I was gonna ask, this is not what most people traveling to Jamaica are gonna experience unless they really go after it. We are so out here, kind of in the middle of nowhere, yeah, man. at a rum bar where they spell adult novelties and then like a little shack with a kitchen in it. How'd you find this place? So this is my pleasure in finding the real Jamaican food. Exactly what makes Jamaican food and is the people behind it and finding the people with the stories that give you variations of flavors through their cooking. The chef today, he's from the Maroon Town. He did some spices that I've never even seen in some corn pork until I came here. Mm. But I know that it tastes good and it's what keeps drawing me back here. So you've so been here many times? I come here for the corn pork. Yeah, I feel like the first 10 times you came here, you didn't even realize they had food. And <laughs> you're coming for other reasons and you're like, oh shoot, they have good food too. So you don't tell everybody, man. <laughs> Great start, much more food to go. Let's do it. We are back in the kitchen for more. Now, he's gonna take that same corn pork and mix it with ackee. Mm. Oh, you don't know what ackee is? I was gonna say, I'll explain it in voiceover. We don't really do a voiceover on the second channel. I guess look it up. Do your best. Here, he's dumping the aki on it now. This aki has been boiled already. Oh, it's mushed out. You can't tell the consistency of it. We call this butter aki. It looks like scrambled eggs. This is complete. Look at that. Here, the brown stew chicken. Oh, that looks nice too. Junior, thank you. Check it out. This right here, same thing that we just had, except for he added the aki to it, but it looks so different. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be smooth as butter. All right, let's try it out. Sure. Totally different flavor profile. Mm -hmm. It's rich, it's creamy. It gives it more of some kind of a nutty flavor yeah, to it almost. I guess. You can eat this with a mound of rice or- Even some crackers. And if <laughs> some crackers, I could put it between bread, but you need something to kind of so cut through all that heaviness. All that Here's the chicken. Look at it come off the bone. Oh ho ho ho. Wow, how do you explain that? I mean, first the texture just hits you. It's super soft, juicy, falls off the bone. Wow. And still sweet. Yeah, a bit sweet, savory, and then just a thick stewed down sauce. Look, it just crumbles and opens up. It's not dark meat, but it's still so incredibly soft and tender. Oh man, we have to the bone. Sweet in my belly. That is three dishes yeah, from man. one location. We have a few more things we want to see today. Definitely have some more stuff to check out. And that's coming up next after this commercial break. I hope there's a commercial. We need money. That is the end of this location for this video, but if you go to Mass Channel, Jamaica Food Boss, you are gonna see us eating pig tail soup. They're making it right now, it's in that pot, so go to his channel, watch his video to learn more about how they eat pigtails here in Jamaica. Now, on to the next location. And we are in traffic. Moving to our second location, Matt. Wagwan. Where are we going now? We are going to Top Road, somewhere that is, you have to pass it to come into Montego Bay, and this is just a place on the left that sells some wicked food. I'm told that we're gonna go see a Jamaican sandwich. Is this a Jamaican sandwich? Yeah, man, this is a Jamaican sandwich. Now, I didn't even know Jamaicans ate sandwiches. Have we even had bread? We did, we had breadfruit. Count it. <laughs> to our second location. Matt, where are we? We're at Sabrina's Kitchen and Cocktails. And here at Sabrina's Kitchen, she is selling a sandwich. This is Jamaican sandwich now. Why this is Jamaican and not just your typical Subway sandwich, this is a cocoa bread. What is we, cocoa bread? Cocoa bread is bread that they used to make with coconut milk and also a huge amount of butter. Right, okay, let's take a quick look at what's inside. This is the cocoa bread. This is the cocoa bread. But when you peel that back, there's two layers here. The top bun, it's got some kind of a mayonnaise, I'm guessing, cheese, and then I'm guessing also pickled carrots and onions. And then this meat is fish? Fried filet fish. And what kind of fish is that? It's just a fish. A fish. <laughs> it's, just a fish. <laughs> it's just a fish, man. Just a fish, man. All right, let's try it out. Wow, that's a great blend of flavors. The bread is so soft, it's containing all the moisture of the meat. There's cheese, then there's like a tangy mayonnaise. It's almost like there's a tartar sauce between escovice so that's what happens, and though. the mayonnaise. They create yeah. a tartar sauce with the escovice, with the pickled onions and the pickled carrots. Mixing with that mayonnaise, oh gosh man, it just, as I say, the flavors unite in your mouth. Escovich, what does that mean? It is escabiche from the Spanish variation of when it came down to Jamaica from the Spaniards. But we call it escovich, E-S-C-O-V-I-T-C-H. If this fish was just in there, it'd be a fried fish sandwich. But because the sauce is on it with the pickled onions, the vinegar, and you also have some carrots as well, right. that's what creates the escovich. <laughs> This is the first place I found it, and since I found it, I just gotta keep eating it. It is legitimately super satisfying. We just finished our sandwiches, but I saw something, something really cool. There's a baby goat. There's a huge goat right here. I've been told there's another route to the goats. I'm very determined to see these goats. I love goats. Right, we can come in? 
Thank you, sir. Hey, guys, don't be afraid. I'm cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Matt, I'm stupefied and confused. That is a residential apartment. That's an Airbnb residential apartment. That's where people live. This, somehow, goat farm. Are these going to be eaten? Oh, for sure they're going to be eaten. So this is the origin of goat curry? This, this is the origin of goat curry. You start it here, it ends there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or there, whichever kitchen. Bye -bye. All right, we have just stumbled upon a fish fry before we get to our last location. Yeah. Sir, what's your name? O'Neill. O'Neill? Yeah. Are you Irish? No, nah, man. Bad Jamaican, man. How are you? I didn't know for sure. I just heard the last name. You're doing a fish fry? Yeah, we're cooking some fried fish right now, some blackjack. Blackjack? Yeah. Sounds good. It looks good. Yeah, man. Delicious, you know? How often are you doing a fish fry? We do it like once a week. We cook and eat just a regular thing, you know? Looks good. Yeah, man. Smells Everything good. Yeah, man. All right, yeah. cheers. Nice to meet you. All right, bless up. Boom. Okay, we're headed to our next location, our final location for today. We're actually driving right past the airport. This is the airport where I'm going to be flying out tomorrow. And here, I'm told by men, they have some pretty good seafood. Boom shakalaka. Hey, there's a little Jamaican there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Boom, go to dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> this place is so obscure, I have no idea how you found this. This is a place that my mom, my uncles, my family used to visit. So we're right by the airport. It's fun, because every 15 minutes you get to see an airplane take off. Yeah. Oh, a van. An airplane um. van. <laughs> <laughs> this is the octopus that's been cooked up. We were in the kitchen. She was chopping it up by hand. She mixed it with onion, garlic, sweet pepper, and then a little bit of scotch bonnet. She wraps that all up, puts a little oil inside, throws it on the fire, and then this is the result right here. Steam roast sea cat. We don't even call it octopus. Really? Yeah, man. So come take a look at this plate. We have a breadfruit over here, fried, yellow, like neon, bright, looking awesome over here. The octopus, you can see little tiny tentacles. And then I'm going to get a big fork full right here. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. It's a simple preparation, but super delicious. I didn't even see her drop salt. Where did the salt come from? The salt water. Is that right? No. <laughs> we just didn't see it. Oh, the scotch bonnet. You feel yeah. it. The pepper. It is warming me up from the inside. I feel it right here. The epicenter, and it's just radiating outwards. Woo. That's why you get piece of the fried breadfruit as well. Mm -hmm. The golden texture and the sweetness of it when it's fried will just take off a little bit of that heat of the scotch bonnet. Oh. Oh, I love bread food. So this is interesting is because I've had it in Indonesia and they breaded it and fried it. So it was like crunchy, crunchy. Yeah. This is fried, but a still a little soft. It's almost like French fries from McDonald's that have been hanging out in the bag for 10 minutes. I'll take another bite. Mm. What is it that you like so much about this dish? Especially of all the things they serve here, you wanted me to try this. Why? Because sea cat is something that you don't get a lot of in Jamaica, but when you get it, it's everybody's prized possession. So for you to find somewhere that serves it and sells it, it's a rarity. Airplane! Airplane! That was a quick one. We didn't even hear it too much. Yeah, that was super fast. All right. Three locations, multiple foods. I'm so full, I want to die. Please, not in Jamaica. Right? <laughs> you have to fly my body to Minnesota <laughs> and pay for the extra weight. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go to his channel, Jamaica Food Boss, on YouTube. See his fun food videos and his many adventures here in Jamaica. Also, if you want to be cool looking like me and wear a red bandana with my face on it, go to the link in the description down below. You will see our store where we're selling this, these bandanas in three different colors, and many other fun accessories and merchandise. All right, that's it for this one. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,